Hello everyone, my name is Janish Rana and today my video topic is workload and scheduling or CKA exam especially. It has a weightage of 15% and these are the topics that we will going to cover. Let's start with the first topic that is understand deployments and how to perform rolling update and rollback. I believe that this is a solid topic and one question must be come. Let's take an example that what type of question it may ask in the exam. Create a new deployment called this one. Use one image and it should have one replica. Next, upgrade the deployment to version 1.17. Here, the version is 1.16. Now you need to upgrade to 1.17. Rolling update. Other task is make sure that the version upgrade is recorded in the resource annotation. And you should use this context. How to solve this type of question if it may appear in the exam? Very first thing is use the right context that is given in the exam. In this question, first we need to create a deployment with image 1.16 and it should have one replica. That's it. And this is the command that we can use. Create deployment image and if we not mention any replica it means that it will be automatically one right we can check the rollout history of this deployment this is the command that we can use here and the output like this one none in question it is asked us to upgrade the deployment using the new image that is 1.70 right for upgrade, we can use set image subcommand. For record the upgrade, we can use option hyphen hyphen record. And the syntax would be like this kubectl set image deployment. What is the name of the deployment? And then container name equal to new image name and hyphen hyphen record. That's it. This is the way. We can use grep. Minus capital A. Capital A means after. This keyword it will print the 10 lines. If we have B here, capital B, it means before. And C it means before and after both print 10, 10 lines. After this keyword. But here we can use minus A after. Now we know the container name is Nginx. Let's execute this command kubectl set image deployment and name of this deployment is this nginx. This is my container name equal to the new image name hyphen hyphen record. This is the value it is asked and it is asked us to record. So we are using hyphen hyphen record here. It's time to post checks again execute the same command rollout history. If we execute this command, we will observe this type of output here. Before it was only one line, right? But now after we use hyphen hyphen record, we can observe that the second line is like this. You can also check the image is upgraded or not. Again, you can use describe subcommand, deployment, and grab image. It will show you nginx 1.17 if you have this output then congratulations you have completed the question successfully please bear in mind that version number or image may be different in your exam but the step would be same you may also refer to my web page for this question just for information you can scroll click on this and you will observe all the output in on my website I will share the link in my website. Don't worry. Now we have completed the first topic. Let's move to second topic. That is use config map and secret to configure application. I'm not sure you will get any question from this. If you observe any question, please comment the question. I will create a new video for our DevOps community. But if you want to know what is config map and secret, I have already created one video on my YouTube channel. You can watch. How to scale the application? 
I believe that you may get one question from this topic and it is seriously very very simple scale the deployment this to six pod use this context obviously statement will be different in the exam but you know what I mean first we should check where is the deployment is running in the question no namespace is defined thus this deployment must be running on a default namespace under user context this one check the deployment and identifying how many replicas are defined it means how many ports are there we can use till get deployment for a reference my deployment has two port is running now we can upgrade the existing deployment web app to replica 6 i'm not talking about upgrade the deployment but i'm talking about upgrade the replica from 2 to 6 and the we can use the command scale here an option is hyphen hyphen replica equal to 6 the command is scale with option hyphen hyphen replica how we can check if we execute this command get sub command we get to know that now there are six ports running and before it was two it means that we have completed this question successfully other way to check is we can use kubectl get deployment and deployment name minus o yaml we can output the yaml file and grab replica and see that replica are six if this is the output then congratulations you have completed this question successfully let's move to next topic that is understand the primitive you great robust self-healing app deployment i'm not sure you will get some question from this topic if you observe then please let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video this way together we can support our devops community let's move to next topic that is understand how resource limit can affect port scheduling in this topic examiner may ask you to schedule a port or deployment with some condition such as node selector label stint or toleration from this topic they want to check that student is aware about these conditions eventually these conditions are extensively used this end production platform so let's elaborate what type of question it may arise in the exam this one is the simplest question use the right context and our task is create a pod and the name of this pod should be this image should be this and node selector is this key and value whatever key value it will provide in your, in your exam you can use the very first thing is that use the right context if you are not aware what is the syntax then you can use kubernetes.io web page it is allowed during the exam like here open this kubernetes.io web page click on documentation in the left hand side you can search this type equal to ssd this is what given in the question you can search you will find this thing if the key value is different then you can search node selector and you will observe this type of port yaml file and here the indentation is node selector is equivalent to container one thing is we should know let's move forward now copy the below yaml file in one file and modify the value like i did here pod name i have updated image i have updated node selector desk type equal to ssd if image name is different then you need to update this value too but when i copy from the kubernetes.io image was nginx let's move forward first check the label of nodes on my cluster worker node 1 has the label set desk type equal to ssd this command is totally optional because in exam if they ask you to schedule a pod with this label then they must set the label on node for you in advance right 
this command is only for our reference that our port will going to schedule on which worker node. Now apply the YAML file. It means it will create the port with the help of apply sub command. Post check how to verify it. Port must be running straight, right? We can use minus O wide option with get command. When we use minus O wide, it produces the output with port IP address, node on which this port is running, and what is the status of this port. And also two more options here. That's it, and we have done. This is what it is asked us, right? In the question, it is asked that schedule a port on one node in which the label is set desk type equal to SSD. This is what we did. And here we have completed the question successfully. If you want to learn how to add the label on nodes, then please check my web page. I have already updated here. How to add the label, how to delete the label. This is all I have already uploaded on my web page. And this is the link of my web page. Next question would be schedule a port on master node. Last time it is asked us to schedule a port on one specific port which has the label this type equal to SSD. But now in this question it is asked us schedule a port on master node. And the task is create a port. The name of the port is this which may only schedule on master node. Do not add any new labels on any nodes. Here you cannot add labels here. And here you should use this context. So in this question, it is asked us to create a pod on master node only. But we know that on master node, by default, there is a taint. Because of this taint, ports will not scheduling on master node. In order to add pod on master node, we must add the toleration on port config. If you are not aware about taint and toleration, then you may watch my video on Kubernetes playlist. Okay, let's perform this question. First, use the select, use the correct context. After that, we need to check the taint on master node. What taint it is? And the output may be like this in the exam also. Please notice that no schedule taint is applied on this master node. Here I use only describe. Let's take an example that what is taint and how it impact the scheduling process. This is my master where the taint is set for no schedule and there is worker node. There is no taint is is applied or added. And this is my scheduler. Scheduler job is, is to schedule the ports, newly created port. Scheduler responsibility that on which node this port must be running. And we have four ports. One port, there is no taint. When I click here, scheduler will check and it will create it on worker node. Port two has the taint no schedule. And no schedule is also here, right? The taint is match. But scheduler will check that, okay. I can also schedule this port on worker node and master node also. Schedule here. Now on port 3, but here it should be toleration. When you open the port config, you will add the toleration. But for the reference purpose, I just added here taint. Okay, don't be get confused. For port 3, it is said that it must go for node selector master. So it means that in port 3 configuration, we clearly mentioned that this port must run on master node only. But in master node, we have added the taint. Because of this taint, scheduler will never schedule this port on this master node. So it will be always on pending state. For port 4, if we mention that node selector is master, it means that this port must be run on master node. And 
on the top of that we added taint no schedule it means that we added the toleration for this taint it means that scheduler will schedule this port on master node only so from this example we get to know that for our port config we need to add two things here node selector and taint so let's get back to our business and open the kubernetes.io web page click on documentation search taint and toleration open the first url and copy the toleration option modify the yaml file as per your question requirement how we can do that i just copied one port configuration and here the name is modified as per the question image i have added here toleration and toleration indentation is with container e is this control hyphen plane and effect is no schedule that's it node selector this is my control plane and this is a blank here why a blank maybe there are two master nodes or three master nodes then for that reason we put it here as blank that's it all these configuration you will get it from the kubernetes.io web page directly okay let's move forward after that create this pod and how we can post check check if our newly created pod pod regis must be running on master node right this is our post checks to it will get pod regis minus o wide again minus o wide so that i can get to know that on which node my pod is running it is in master node and the state is running if this is the condition for you it means that you have completed this question successfully let's move to next topic that is awareness of manifest management and common templating tool let's understand the manifest management and templating tool meaning a manifest specify the desired state of object that kubernetes will maintain when you apply the manifest let's take an example if we create stateful set and set replica equal to 4 then its kubernetes component responsibility maintain four replica in the cluster kubectl is the templating tool thus they may ask you to do some task from the command kubectl let's take an example for the second question first we need to use this context and the question it is asked us to there are two pods named this in the namespace project hyphen lab lab management asked you to schedule the pod down to one replica to save resources in order to resolve this issue first we need to use the right context this is the way first we need to locate the pod under namespace project hyphen lab we can use kubectl get pod from this output it is not clear that these pods are belong to which deployment stateful set or daemon set right because if we delete these pod it will be recreated for this reason we can search on deployment stateful set or daemon set we can use ctl get deployment app blah 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 minus n project lab we will observe that this output maybe if there are you know number of more deployment or stateful sets again you will get some confused but here you will can see that double o db is here double o db is here in the question from this we get an idea that these ports are belong to stateful set or you can use kubectl get all minus n project namespace name and there we get to know that this stateful set is pod db other way is that you can check the pod labels kubectl get pods and namespace hyphen hyphen show labels and grab double o you will get to know that these pods are belongs to stateful sets 
Now it is clear that these boards are belong to stateful set. In order to fulfill the task, we just simply use this one cube serial minus n scale option, right? We used previously and hyphen hyphen replicas equal to one. Post checks. How to verify it? Just execute the previous command. From the output, we get to know that we have only one ports are running. Congratulations, you have completed this question successfully. Now the next question it may arises from this topic. It would be there are number of ports in all namespace. Write a command in this. Write a command into this file which lists all ports sorted by their age. This value must be given in the exam. If it's not given, then you can use Kubernetes.io web page and search for cheat sheet. From there, you get this information. And write the second command this, which lists all the ports sorted by metadata.uid. Use kubectl sorting for both commands. Okay. So let's use the right context first. Most probably in the exam, the sort option metadata dot creation timestamp must be given. If it's not given, then you can check in the Kubernetes dot IO page. You just need to use hyphen hyphen sort by. If it's given, then it is very easy for you. Just use kubectl get pod minus a is for all namespace hyphen hyphen sort hyphen by equal to dot and copy this and paste it over here what this command will do it will show you all the ports from all the namespace but sorted by timestamp as you can see here that 30 381 days 381 days 29 29 29 and 21 are like this so it is creation time sorted by creation timestamp now this command is good. We confirm that if the above command executed well, then we can save the command in one file like this. Echo and copy all this command here inside double coded append in one file that is given here. And please bear in mind that in the question it is mentioned that you need to write a command in the file. Also, try to execute this file. You should see the same output. If we execute this command, I should see this output only. For part two, one can sort the port from UID. Now the question arises that where is the UID of port? Am I doing the right thing or not? If I use this command, get sort by metadata dot UID. How we can check? There is no UID is showing here. Don't worry, I will show you in my coming slide. If we type echo and execute this command and then append this value in this file. In question, it is say that we need to add the command only, right? Now we have created the file. After that, when we use this sh shell and then file name it will execute this command only and the output is same as it before again it is not showing uuid how we can check the uuid again if we use kubectl get ports minus a it means all namespace minus o it means output should be custom column what is the custom column Code name, metadata dot name, pod UID, metadata dot UID, sorted by metadata dot UID. When we execute this command, you will get this pod name is my metadata dot name, and pod UID is metadata dot UID. This is what it is showing here. Pod name is here, pod UID is here, and Behind this, it is showing metadata.uid. 
and all these pods are sorted by metadata dot uid now it is clear that what we executed in previously this command is perfectly right that's it from this topic